Yo, it is Gay YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Season 6 Courtside Report community blog for this season upcoming in NBA 2K23. My team, hoping for a really interesting, really good season because I don't feel like Season 5 was all that great. I just think my team as a whole is kind of at a point right now where it's just not that exciting for a lot of people, which is not a ideal. We definitely need some more things to spice it up. I thought the content in Season 5 was pretty good. I mean, I, think, I don't think it was bad. The, the uh, mode based rewards were great. Uh, uh, there were definitely some positives. Uh, a couple of the events were pretty good as well. The Glen Rice wound up being really good. Some of the takeover players that we got from Bracket Busters wound up being pretty good as well. But it just doesn't feel like there's a lot of excitement around the game right now. So I'm hoping that Season 6 can re-add that excitement into the game. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 11,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. I don't really care about the My League stuff or anything like that. Um, I'm interested, really, really interested, in fact, to see if WNBA players are added into my team. That is what I want to see this season because there's been rumors that that might happen. I'm going to skip through all this stuff because I just don't care. Y'all can go back and read uh, the My League or basically anything that doesn't have to do with my team, the, all the park stuff, all that. But here we go. My team, the first paragraph is just a spiel about the 250K tournament, which was a complete mess. Uh, not even going to worry about that to be completely honest it's time for the next era of cards to enter my team hero cards are back as we see a evolution shaquille o'neal that goes to diamond that card is not that exciting uh as he is the level one reward so he's going to be your first hero card he can evo to diamond that's cool i probably will not wind up evolving this card i don't really think there's that much of a reason to evolve him to be completely honest but i guess that is cool that hero cards will be back i'm sure we'll get much better options as the season progresses i'm not sure if there'll be level up rewards or whatever but i'm sure it'll stay here in a little bit so Shaq is the level one but dark matter hakeem is the low 40 he can play power for this might be a really really good card if they change his release this card is going to be absolutely incredible because he's going to have a very good release if they change it hopefully and he's going to be an elite level defender with a really good player build um this is going to be one of the better power forwards in the game i think he's going to be on the level if i had to guess i think he'll be on the level of like a dikembe matumbo which would mean he's like the second or third best power forward in the game i still find it hard for him to be to, to expect him to be better than taco simply because of the fact that taco is so op and so big but this is a legitimately really good level 40 if they do change his release which we have not gotten in a while is a top tier level 40 card that's going to be one of the best couple cards at their position and have legitimate longevity i think hakeem could actually do that so that is a big w getting ourselves a level 40 that is actually a very good one to help you along the way to level 40 two collections will be released with power up powered up heroes ready to grace their presence on the my team battlegrounds collections will feature hero rewards and uh, they will be released each week okay so heroes it's interesting i'll say it I, I don't know exactly what that means if there's going to be like collection rewards or are we going to be getting like age of heroes types cards in different drops like we did in the past where we're going to get like because right? if y'all remember we got hero versions of like luca and shaq and some guys like that in 2k21 we had that whole collection that locked in for the dark matter coaches maybe there's like a lock-in reward we'll see but definitely interesting um return of hollow unicorn and fireball cards i mean okay uh, some people this will be really cool to some people i don't really care uh, but if you like any of these balls uh, that will be cool to be able to get those cards uh you'll be able to earn them by using hero cards so i guess that's kind of cool as well if you're looking to add those basketballs to your collection so we get a ruby sue bird coach card um you'll be able to earn him at level two or earn her i should say at level two um i doubt this is going to be all that good there will be a more powerful version of her coach card available as well now that could be pretty good if they give it like a pink diamond coach or something like that that's super that would be pretty cool uh, oh it is pink diamond super beautiful 25 new coach cards that's pretty cool um each coach card features a system to lead your team okay so this is just the way coaches generally work but 25 new coach cards uh using uh, WNBA players is pretty cool and then a pink diamond sue bird so that could actually be pretty cool that sue bird pink diamond card could be one of the best coaches in the game that would be pretty sick i don't know i'm, I'm not i'm not totally opposed to that idea whatsoever but um season six in my team will follow last season's footsteps with new player reward cards available as well as a top reward of each of the single player and multiplayer modes i like that bring it back player rewards i think is a huge w would like to see the player rewards that are not rng be better this season that is my one complaint about player rewards is all of the best player reward cards in last season bill and knight mike bantam danny ferry and um purvis ellison were all rng cards would like to see those cards be in modes like unlimited and clutch time online clutch time offline so that you are guaranteed to be able to get them and not just playing a random amount of games hoping to get those cards um moments of the week is coming back we don't care 
honestly, they're not good. They, the rewards for most of the week have been terrible. So many season events should be back. Okay, that's cool. Card reveals, obviously, that already is a thing. So, it looks like that's about all there is to know about my team this season, though. I think it's pretty... There's, there's no WNBA players, which, honestly, I'm a little bit surprised by. I kind of thought we were going to get WNBA players this season. Um, but, I guess not. Hakeem at level 40, I think, is a massive W. I think that's a really, really good card. The fact that they're bringing back player-based rewards, I think, is really cool. The hero card concept could be cool again, especially if they're EVO cards, and if they actually wind up being pretty good and easily like like legitimately attainable if we get so we get a hero luka Doncic that evolves to dark matter but he's going to be 600,000 mt that's not really a like a you know what i mean like it, it, it's important that some of these cards are attainable and that some of the player based reward cards or gameplay based reward cards are good as well uh, i think that's going to be really really crucial but with that being said it looks good. I wouldn't say it looks insane, but it looks solid. The WNBA coaches is cool. I'm not really that opposed to them adding WNBA players in my team. I don't think that would be a problem. I, I don't know if they ever will. I thought if they were going to, this season would be the season, but I wouldn't be totally opposed to it. It's something that would be interesting to me. I guess the WNBA coaches are cool, but uh, the way that the thing about the WNBA players is unless they change their heights, which I don't think is a good idea, the cards are not going to be actually viable is something that's important to remember. But I don't know. Regardless, I think this season looks pretty good. The fact that there's a good level 40 and player reward cards come back is a W in my opinion. And I think this hopefully will be a pretty good season and able to bring some life back into my team as a game mode as a whole. So that is going to do it for this video. Hope you all did enjoy. Let me know if you all are excited for season six of my team. And I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.